How you doing? My name is Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Today I want to talk about the uh, SMD Diamore crossover calculator by uh, Diamore Tools and uh, Steve Mead, SMD Designs. It's a tool that we don't use often because most of the systems that we run, we run DSPs in, but on the rare occasion that we do a system without a DSP, uh, for example, the Phoenix Gold MX one of our current favorite amplifiers we use a lot of them now the problem is on most amplifiers like the Phoenix Gold amplifiers you have the crossover setting which is here so knob says 50 to 250 so once you turn the knob you're not sure what frequency you're at so it could be 51 57 86 92 you can get close but there's no way to know exactly what frequency you're at so that's where the crossover calculator comes in. It's a really nice tool. So you set it up, you have your head unit output, it comes with a setup CD, you pick the track that you want. For this example, we're gonna be using a 100 hertz high pass. So you set the filters on the amplifier and on the radio to off. This one, you can't turn off the high pass filter, so you wanna turn it all the way up to 250, 300, I'm sorry, you wanna turn it all the way down to 40 hertz, which is the lowest it'll go. So we're gonna set our high pass at 100, so we set our 40 which is basically off so then we set the CD we set it to track 18 which is 100 Hertz we set it on repeat now the way it works is you power on the DMR unit increase the volume of the head unit until the DMR unit detects signal once it detects signal you stop you hit the button on the unit that lets it know this is the signal that I want you to match 100 Hertz so then you go to the gain side of the amplifier and you, I'm sorry, you go to the crossover side of the amplifier. Since we started at 40 hertz, you bring it up slowly. There's three LEDs. There's a blue one in the center, there's a orange one on the bottom when you're under the frequency, and then there's orange one on top if you've gone past the frequency. So you turn the dial till it turns blue. If you go past, the light above the blue will turn orange. You dial it back down if it'll light up blue again. If you go below the orange, the light below the blue. Once just the blue light is eliminated, you are dead at 100 hertz which is where you want to be. Super simple to use, very useful tool, especially in high power applications. So if you're off by 20 or 30% on your crossover and you're running low power, it's no big deal. If you're doing a high power system where you're running hundreds, maybe even thousands of watts, that 10 or 20% that you're off can really destroy your speakers. So uh, it's a useful tool, we use it all the time. I'm gonna show you how easy it is now. I'm gonna go outside, I have, I have a 800.5 on the test bench already hooked up, so I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to use this tool. Okay, as you can see here, we're set up 100 hertz. Disc is set on repeat. We're gonna bring the volume all the way down. Volume's at zero. We're gonna power on the CC1. CC1's powered. We're gonna bring up the volume till the signal light illuminates. There's the signal light. We're gonna go ahead and Hit read, top calibration light illuminates. Now we're gonna to go to the high pass filter. We're starting at 40 hertz and we're gonna bring it up. There's the bottom light. Gonna back it back down. So there you go, see? There's a calibrated light, there's under, there's over. perfectly calibrated. So as you can see, the blue light is illuminated. I'm gonna go ahead and change it for you. It's over, under, perfectly calibrated. Super simple, dead on 100 hertz exactly. Hopefully this was useful to you. See you next week.